hands-free orgasm is like the 10th dan in karate. The 10th dan is symbolic of mastery and dedication to the art of karate over many decades. Often it involves more than 50 years of practice. Estimates suggest fewer than 20 living individuals have achieved this rank across all major karate styles. Similarly, is it possible to train your body and mind to reach orgasm using only your brain, no touch allowed? Thank you, Imgrown3232, for asking this fascinating question. It's a tough one. My name is Dr. Stefan Buntrock and I'm a board-certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. So first of all, can you have hands-free orgasms? Definitely yes. If you think about it, pretty much every one of you has experienced this. It's a common phenomenon above all in adolescence that there is the occasional nighttime ejaculation. It happens in your sleep and has nothing to do with any kind of sexual activity. Nighttime emissions happen during sleep, largely due to brain activity, but they're also influenced by hormonal cycles and the body's natural physiological responses. Which brings me to a central point. Orgasms are a brain thing. They are accompanied by rhythmical muscular contractions and other features, but the emotional part is brain-made. And let me tell you another thing about orgasms. We still haven't figured them out. We kind of know that they have to be learned. This may be the reason for orgasmic problems in some cases. We also know that orgasms can be brought about from touch or stimulation of extragenital regions. But overall, the phenomenon of orgasm is of such a complex nature that science only comprehends parts of it. Some of you may have watched other videos on your channel. I quite frequently talk about the autonomous nervous system. There is the activating sympathetic nervous system and there is the relaxing parasympathetic nervous system. For sexual activity, you need both. Erections are under parasympathetic influence. For ejaculation, orgasm, you need the sympathetic nervous system, mostly. There's some parasympathetic activity in there too, but I don't want to confuse you. So let's keep it simple. Sympathetic activity, that's basically the ancient fight or flight reflex. It is important to know that because it establishes a link between mood and sexual function. In my early years of sexual medicine, I was consulted by a young man with a very unusual problem. Whenever his boss talked to him, he would become so nervous that he ejaculated and experienced orgasm. Can you imagine how terrible? And that happened about three times a day. I didn't make that up. These things really exist and they have been known to science for almost 100 years. So any kind of stress or anxiety will speed up orgasms or at the extreme trigger them. A common example would be extreme arousal with the occasional premature ejaculation as reported mainly by young men. Back to the initial question. Hands-free orgasms are obviously possible, but can they be controlled? Unfortunately, there is not enough scientific data to back that up for sure. There are certain online circles where hands-free orgasms are vividly discussed. I think these sources should be approached with some skepticism because they are highly subjective and it is common knowledge that people make up a lot of things when it comes to sexual topics. Just look at the comment section of my most popular video here. Almost everyone reports having a penis that reaches to the floor. However, these are the most common techniques people report to reach hands-free orgasms. Mental imagery or fantasy, meditation and visualization, hypnosis, Kegel exercises, tantra, deep breathing, vibrational and sound techniques, ASMR audio. You know my attitude towards Kegel exercises. For most men, they do more bad than good. They are only useful in a weak pelvic floor. Most men don't fall into that category. So can it be learned? I would say it is realistic to assume 
that only very few men could learn how to do that. I would love to offer an online course about it. I could be rich and move to the British Virgin Islands and the thought of not having to pay any taxes would give me hands-free orgasms several times a day. But sadly, I'm an honest person. I couldn't take your money for something of no value for you. If it were possible to learn hands-free orgasms, then those who have likely stumbled upon it by chance. Oh, by the way, certain medication can cause this as a side effect. There are some reports from users of trazodone, for example. Also, neurological disease could be a trigger. We are talking about spinal cord injuries, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, and so on. Lastly, would it be possible to separate orgasm from ejaculation? I think it is very difficult. These two are intertwined for a reason. So if you still want to do Kegels, at least watch this video before you do. It may save you some trouble. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.